o'clock on a Friday and there are a lot of youths that are just loitering around the streets of Gwanda. This is due to unemployment. A lot of youths in this town are unemployed and there is nothing that they can do as the nearest town, Bulawayo, also has got employment issues. Join me as I talk to one of the unemployed educated youth of this town, Clement Zikali. Can you please introduce yourself? All right, my, my name is uh, Clement Zikali. I stay here in Gwanda. I'm 31 years old. Uh, what are your qualifications? I'm an electrical power engineering technician. I hold a national certificate in electrical engineering. Are you working somewhere? Uh, no, I'm not working. I'm currently at home. Tell me, how do you spend your day? Uh, usually I just do my gardening as you, as you see. And after that I normally watch uh, TV, uh, chat with my friends, uh, just sleep at home. So doesn't it bother you that you're unemployed? It bothers me a lot. So Clement, yes. what, what would you like the government to do to, for you as an educated, unemployed youth? I expect a lot from the government. I expect the revitalization of companies, especially in our near town in Blue I expect to see more industry so that I, we get a wider opportunity, you know, because my field is too wide. It's, Guy, so I need a wide choice and a wide range of uh, industries and companies. His needs. How do you, or where do you get the money to satisfy your needs? You bath, you to eat, to maybe. Are you married? No, I, I'm, I'm not married. Uh, you know, as for as for cash, I normally uh, I'm given by my relatives. By Cousins, um, I don't have any source of income. I rely on my uh, diaspora relatives who normally uh, send uh, some cash and some items for me, for my clothing, for my personal 